it then can happen. And, and, and then you have to look for for a specific message, and you can't just buy what you like, you know. Yeah. yeah. So it kind of it limits your expression. And the the stuff that you draw and paint and all of that. What or who inspires you to do this? Um. I'm inspired by, like on a regular basis, by so many local artists, like people don't even know. There are so many up and coming young artists and established artists that, mm -hmm. that are real doing their thing. And um, there's a group on Facebook called We Do Show. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you'll I, 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 No, I haven't, but I'll go and check it yeah, out. It, it's the members, there, there are lots of members now. It, it's a mix of experienced local artists and, and I should say Caribbean artists mm -hmm. and younger up and coming artists, students and stuff. And it's amazing when you see the quality of stuff coming out. It's, it's really, really heartening to see what even like the, the younger generation is and, producing. And that's how I wanted yeah. to find out. Um, is it that you went to art school or anything? Or this is your natural talent that you out here yeah. natural no art school no no, uh, no I UB actually and stuff like that to learn to draw I studied literature in UB which is where the poetry yeah. side of you came yeah. out from yeah, but I didn't study art you didn't study yeah, art so, so I was just playing around so it, mm -hmm. and that's the thing with some people and I doesn't get it so much sometimes we have the natural ability to do something mm -hmm. and it's the natural ability that will supersede something that we probably went to school to learn and some people don't get that. If you mm high -hmm. society people, some of them that's why it's kind of trim off. You need to have this qualification and that qualification right. to be able to do it. Look at what you're putting on. And then I guess sometimes it limits how you create and, and how you express yourself. Expression, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know you um, attend the, like uh, arts markets and mm -hmm. stuff like that. How has that experience been for you in terms of the people that gravitate towards your pieces? It's been so interesting. You know, um, I think interacting with people is the most fun aspect of it. You know, mm -hmm. people will pick up pieces and, and for some, some people have a real personal reaction to the pieces, you know, and then they can't believe that, that the things are hand-painted or come from actual art pieces. And um, it just, on, on a real personal level, to me it makes me happy that, that my art you know, people actually using these little handmade yeah. things with my art on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not any, you know, reasons that, that I want it all day or anything like that. But because I think it's something that that has the potential to, to you know, help people but express themselves and, and be a reflection of how they feel and yeah. have meaning to them and that kind of thing. I love that. So like yeah. murals. Mm -hmm. I know we were speaking and you stated you have one of the Savannah. Yeah. Is it that the only mural that you have publicly painted and um, stuff that people can that, visit? That one was the um, Urban Hobby project which took place in April. Mm -hmm. I think it was 10 of us and it was a kind of collaborative project where everybody took peace and then it was all blended. Which was such a cool experience and, and if you haven't seen it you should go check it out. And um, I also recently for the represent regional mural project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did a, a small one in San Grandi. Yeah, which is it's well, for anybody who's from Grandi, it's across from the Arima taxi stand, San Grandi. Yeah, yeah, the mural painting is, is an experience in itself, I, I you know. know because, <laughs> and, and honestly, I really like the, the mural painting idea because of the main reason that. It's on a wall. Right, a public wall. A public yeah. wall and anybody passing you'll see the so which reminds me of something like what they did by Hyatt. Mm -hmm. Where they have mm -hmm. that whole lining of paintings. Yeah. I know it a lot of the paintings there's big the big artists yeah. and trainers <laughs> and the big old, yeah. right? But you know, one day I'm sure yours will go up here because I am <laughs> honest, I love the art. So just show um, the persons who's watching some of the stuff that you did. Alright, um, so I have these cards that we were talking about. They so the envelopes, you, the envelopes, you do it as well? I make them, but the paper, especially well, the paper, paper, so it okay. comes printed right okay. here. Yeah, and uh, the cards, uh, they have artwork on the front, prints of artwork, it's on recycled paper. Recycled paper, yeah. paper, yeah, not chain killing no trees. <laughs> <laughs> and there's some pattern on the back. Um, my brand for my handmade things is Wildflower Studio. 
one. And I'll post all the, um, these are some of them here. Oh, they don't like this card, it's better than Walmart, I swear. This so one is like the front. Of course, I like this. It's just like it's a brown paper. paper. It's like people don't think I'm doing them yeah. things. Let's see. Alright, and, and I have some little handmade books. Ah, can't reach. Oh my goodness. And then with this one. I used the you know, bookmark. You know those old encyclopedias that everybody have lying around at home and don't yes. use? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my goodness. I just feel I like this. One of my bags. Oh, so you do bags too? Yep. <laughs> yeah, this is one of my bags. Each of the bags is painted individually. So, you know, if you buy a bag, you're not going to see anybody else with the and same And it's like a kind of brown cotton yeah, material. Yeah, it's brown cotton. Yeah. I love this. I love this. And I brought a few of the original pieces with me too. This is watercolor. And you say these things you just think of. Yeah, I mean, um, I try to work it all first in drafts to make sure I have all my ideas organized and that kind of thing. And I notice yeah. more or less it's females that you paint. You paint any males? Here and there, but mostly I, I, I gravitate <laughs> towards being <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. And you use some stuff Oh, this one too. is collaged with um, coconut fiber. Um, I have pieces of banana leaf and branches and that kind of thing. All this stuff here. Yeah natural nature stuff. Oh my goodness. And some of these you'll find on the covers of some of the notebooks and that kind of thing. Wow. So guys, please, you see what we have here in Trinidad and Tobago? But they don't need to be running down the foreign stuff because we have these talented people right here in Trinidad to be like, well, if you know I really love this, I think to just take all and go with it <laughs> and stick up all over my place. Right? So I'll post all the links in the description box down below for you to, you know, get in contact with her, look at her pieces on Facebook because I like the page and I, I love it. Right? So I'll post all that information down below. Daniel, thanks so much for coming oh, and I'm so glad a female. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, so guys, stay posted for my next video and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Okay.